for the longest time, I actually didn't want to have a big, fluffy, fancy wedding dress. And I actually bought already one from Reformation ages ago, and it's very simplistic, minimalist. But then I made the big mistake of having a look at Instagram, and Pinterest, and oh my god. There are just so many gorgeous dresses out there and yeah, big mistake. Long story short, I booked four bridal appointments, two in London, two in Berlin. The first one is today together with my maid of honor Jenny and I want to take you on the journey. May I introduce, this is Jenny and we are finally here, Angelica Bridal in Islington. So I picked five dresses that I want to try on. I picked them on the website and first I have a look around to see whether I spot something else as well. And oh my God, these dresses are just gorgeous. So jumping into the first dress, what I like about this one is the back. Deep cut, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan of a flesh colored material in the decote area or also on the side. So that's why it's not a winner for me. All right, moving on to the next dress. This one is from Helena Cohen. And she's very big in New York and Tel Aviv. And oh my God, I just fell so in love with this design. The way it hugs my figure and the decote and the it's a corsage and the flowiness and also that it has an opening for the leg. Oh my god, I just got the whole princess feeling with this one. And here's another picture because I didn't really capture the font. Anyway, moving on to the next dress. Here I really like the intricate details on the back. But I'm not so sure about the front and also that it has a layered skirt. What do you say? All right, here is the attempt <laughs> to find a similar dress to the one from Helena Colin because that one is a little bit out of my budget. But if you try haute couture and then you want to go for a lower budget, then you're usually not as happy. I mean, what do you say? Do you think that this is comparable to the Helena Colin one? Um, I'm not so sure. So here I tried something different, a fitted dress. And again, I wanted to have something with a deep back. Um, but I was a little bit conscious of my wide hips. And also it didn't fit at all in the front because I couldn't fill it out at all. Of course it would look differently if it's tailored to my size, but yeah, I guess I'm not gonna go for fitted. So that's why here, another non-fitted dress and it has these little petals on it and I know that it's quite on vogue at the moment but I'm not sure whether this one is for me. Um, the bag is okay, I prefer the cut to be a little bit deeper. Um, the front is nice but yeah, it's not a wow bag for me. <sighs> I guess I will not wear my dress from Reformation. Not after having put on the dress from Helena Calvin. I just instantly fell in love with that dress. I loved how it made me feel and I loved the flowiness. So I had a look at her other designs and I discovered that here in London there's actually just a very small selection of her dresses. Most of them are in New York, um, but I guess I cannot justify a trip to New York just to try the wedding dresses. And I think I should find one in London or in Berlin. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fly to Berlin around Christmas to see my family and also to go wedding dress shopping with Nikki. So stay tuned for that. And the next bridal appointment is in two weeks time in Bermondsey, so also in London. And it's with Made With Love Bridal. And yeah, stay tuned for that. And please let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite dress. See you next time.